Oh, the sun is really ruining my video today, isn't it? Somebody get that disgusting yellow thing out of the sky. Hello, besties. It's me. It's the internet's bestie, Farhad. It's been a while. How you doing? How was your new year? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Wrap it up. Let's get back to me. I gotta put me first! I gotta put me first! So happy 2022, people. We have so much to catch up on. Firstly, yes, let's just address the Dumbo in the room. Has been a little while since you and I caught up. Thank God you're here. Where have you been, bitch? But long story short, you know, it's been a few weeks off of work because of the Christmas and New Year's break. It's been really nice to just kind of switch off from everything, you know? I didn't really do anything for New Year's Eve this time around. I just kind of stayed at home and watched TV. And at midnight, I walked about 10 minutes to the gardens that I live near and they had the main firework display there, which is really fun to see. And it was great. We had a really nice view, we were very close to the fireworks, but it was a little bit blocked by this big tree that was in the middle of the way, so... You know, it did look a little bit trippier than I probably should have. So yeah, I've had a few weeks off from work. It's been good to unwind, you know, unplug from the corporate machine. But, you know, as a result of me totally switching off, I've accidentally switched off from YouTube as well. So hence I haven't posted anything. But, you know, during my break from social media, I was still filming a lot of content. I've got like three vlogs I filmed. One of them is pretty much ready to be posted. Like, I just didn't post it because it's filmed a little while ago when I wanted my first video of 2022 to be like new. You and I talking, catching up, you you know what I mean? So, you know, in the next few weeks, if you see me post a vlog with my hair a little bit longer because it was filmed before I got my hair cut, just mind your business. But, you know, I wanted to film something new, something fresh, something recent to post because it's a new year, but same little old me. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little about New Year's resolutions, especially those, you know, eye rolling ones that every Insta girl does about self care and well being or whatever it is. But before I get into that, I want to give you a quick update on what's going on, why my voice kind of sounds a little bit husky and probably not very appealing to your ears. I'm sorry if I sound weird, but let me tell you a quick story as to why this video is a little bit late already. Besties. I was out here. I was out here. You know, I'm enjoying my summer break in Melbourne. We're out of lockdown. Everything's free. Things are open. We can do things. And you know, I was feeling good. I was feeling hopeful. I was feeling excited. I was like, mm, yeah, give me them sun salutations, bitch. But then, y'all, I got sick, as you can tell. And like real sick, like, you know what, sick. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus, shit is real. I think. That's right. Miss Rona decided to travel on to foreign land and set up shop right in my body. But luckily, luckily, my dudes, I had a rapid antigen test that I could do from home. And I was like, thank God. These are also very difficult to find. People are selling them for like $50, $60 a pop. It's ridiculous. But as I said, I did that at home test and I was like, all right, I've got it. I know I've got it. Let's find out for sure. Did the test. It said I didn't have it. And I was like, that's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. That's suspicious. How the fuck do I not have it? Like, I am dying. I've been bedridden for three days. I'm so sure I have it. I mean, I'm not going to pretend I understand the science. I don't have a science master's. I have a master's in law. Eh. But, you know, apparently I don't have it, but I think I do. So I'm not going to leave my home or anything. I'm just going to be stuck here for a while and... Hopefully it means I get a little bit better in terms of like how I feel and can film more videos, but you know, I'm not gonna leave my home ever again. So that just means more content for you guys. Hey besties, how you going? Quick update from me. This is future me. I'm just editing the video now, doing the final touches, you know, a little sprinkle on top, that sort of thing. But I just thought I'd quickly mention that I did go and get lab tested and unsurprisingly, Miss Rona has indeed set up shop in my body and that's what's going on and that's why I'm so sick. Coronavirus! I'm kind of glad I did have it. Not because I wanted it or anything, but just because I was like, I was so sick for a week that if I didn't have it, I would have been really concerned as to why I was so sick for a week. Does that make sense? Like, I'm glad I had that justification for being sick, essentially. Also, just super grateful for the fact that I was double vaxxed, you know, didn't get as sick as I probably could have if I hadn't been, and... I'm feeling pretty good about science. Like, science is doing pretty good. Like, it's just like, fuck yeah. Science. <laughs> anyway, I'm feeling better. It's all good. I'm on the other side. So stay safe out there and let's get back to the video. But, you know, I've just been sick at home. I haven't really been doing anything. I binged watch all of season two of The Morning Show yesterday. You know, that show on Apple TV with Jennifer Anderson and Reese Witherspoon. And guys, 
don't sleep on this show. It is very good. All right, what's the point of this video? Yes, New Year's. <laughs> so obviously around every New Year's, people like to come up with New Year's resolutions. And you know, a lot of people get very serious about their New Year's resolutions. You know, they write really beautiful notes in their aesthetically pleasing bullet journals. Like, hang on. How do these people have such good handwriting? And then people love to go on social media and share their New Year's resolutions to their friends and family as though they're giving the gosh darn Gettysburg address or something. Like, people take this shit seriously. And you know, it goes a little something like this. Dearest friends, family, and loyal followers of my Instagram page, my name is Sarah, as you know, <laughs> and today I'm so excited to finally share my New Year's resolutions with you all right now. Oh my god, you guys, can you believe I'm doing this? Like, I'm so random. <laughs> This year, my goals are to eat healthier because everyone can lose a few. Number two is to only drink two bottles of wine a night because we all have to make cutbacks, ladies. <laughs> and my final goal is to go to the gym at least twice a day so that I can reach my goal weight of 35 pounds so that Sheen will finally sponsor my content on Instagram, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. I know with all your ongoing support, likes, and comments, I can be the best Sarah that I can be. A size two. Thank you. Thank you. XOXO, Sarah, butterfly emoji, kiss emoji, kiss emoji. Okay, somebody give me a fucking line. Also, apologies if your name is Sarah. No hate, I promise. Anyway, I think it is really good when people do make New Year's resolutions, you know? I think it's great and important to think about what you want to achieve. And, you know, it's always important to know how you're going to make use of the time that you have left on Earth. Because let's face it, none of us have very long left. Climate change, y'all, have you heard of it? It's pretty crazy. Coronavirus! But I just can't seem to set myself personal goals the same way these influencers do because I'm just severely depressed. Or maybe I just don't care. But then, you know, naturally, as an empath, I just start to feel really bad about myself because I'm not making as much effort as other people. Or perhaps I'm not doing enough like other people are. And that kind of just makes you feel like you're not doing enough to be a good person or a healthy person. And then I just feel bad for not caring enough to better myself, you know? And I think now at 27 years old, I'm sorry. I think I'm just more content with who I am now, I guess. And that feels pretty good. So I didn't do any goals around self-care this year because I think we all kind of know at this point that a lot of these self-care tactics are really just corporations wanting to sell you a better version of yourself at a cost. And you can see this video right here for a little explanation as to what I mean by that. But you know, it's a new year and I think actionable goals are good because you know, you do wanna cross something off your list. You do wanna do things, otherwise you might let your life just keep passing you by, which apparently is a bad thing I'm told. But you know, actionable goals, like I want to do X. I wanna travel to X. I want to learn X, right? Things that you can actually do. But I think that's very much my kind of legal and corporate way of thinking because that's just how I solve problems at work or at uni, which I'm sure many of you will probably recognize, particularly those of you who found me through my I don't have a dream job video, this one here, because you're likely in a similar situation. And let's be honest, that university, the corporate world pipeline does not set you up well. I mean, I still feel like I'm at school. I'm 27, does that feeling ever go away? Now I get that the new year is very much a time of reflection and adjustments because you know, it's a very symbolic passing of time. But quite frankly, do we need to change? Do we need to change that much? Do we need to constantly be improving ourselves? And I think a lot of the feeling of needing to progressively better ourselves just stems from the fact that we focus so much on like productivity and you know, the prominence of hustle culture in our society. And it's all in the name of personal growth, right? Personal growth, that's what we're always striving for. But you know, growth doesn't come from New Year's commitment. It doesn't come from making a list of what you're gonna change about yourself. I think some of the most important personal growth you can have is really just accepting yourself for who you are, faults and all. You know, there's no reason why we need to keep making ourselves feel bad for not progressively getting better or progressively improving ourselves or for not being productive every day of our lives. Especially now with the world flipped on its head, you know, I think personally the most growth that you'll find is from people who are just 
willing to accept the situation they're in and to overcome it from inner peace. You know, finding the joy in everyday life, finding the humor in everyday life, and being able to make fun of the situation that you're in because, hey, we're all in a shit show, but we're in it together. And, you know, not growth from the need to continually improve yourself, to continually, you know, lose weight, go to the gym, gain this amount of kilos, gain this much muscle. Not from a need to continually grow and improve in kind of vapid and self-caring ways but hey i think that's just me happy to hear your thoughts in the comments below i will also point out though i'm filming this while still quite sick i'm very sweaty i'm not sure if you can tell my sweat manager is doing his job as best he can uh but yeah i am quite sick while filming this so maybe my thoughts aren't going to be as philosophical as i think they sound tomorrow when the pain meds wear off Ugh, sorry i had to take a little bit of a break to almost throw up, but I didn't. That's what's important. I didn't. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about channel plans because I do have goals. I do have milestones. As I mentioned before, I think actionable goals are good. Again, partially because that's just the world I live in, in terms of how I deal with problems at work and at university. Not that I'm at university anymore. Oh, it's so weird to think about me not being a student anymore. It's all right. I do want to make some goals specifically for YouTube because I want to have a little bit more control as to how my channel is going and just put in the most effort I can do so then whatever happens kind of happens, if you know what I mean. But I don't want to make any goals that are wildly outside my power, which is what I tend to see with, you know, YouTubers or influencers on Instagram or TikTok or whatever it might be. They tend to have goals that are very much focused on numbers around subscribe account, follow account, like count or view count that sort of thing i just don't think that's a healthy way to do it because that's sort of out of your control you know like you can only put in your best foot and hope that people out on the other side will receive it the way you want it to and if they don't well you gave it your best shot and that's all that matters i don't think it's a good representation of your work to focus so much on outside kind of numbers because because you're at the mercy of things like viewer patterns audience retention trending topics the old algorithm, oh, she's a mysterious little minx, let me tell ya. So I'm more interested in producing good, regular content that I'm really proud to share over any kind of analytical milestone, you know? Mostly because I just don't think it's very healthy to hope for more attention, you know? Like, I don't want to go into this year and say, I wish I had a million subscribers because then I will be truly happy. No! I'm no, I'm pretty happy as I am. Also, the YouTube analytics system has just sucks. Let me tell you, if you make videos on YouTube and you look at your analytics, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, y'all, it is horrifying. It sucks. You know, if you're having a good month, you go on your analytics page and everything has a little green tick next to it or an up arrow, I think. And, you know, it kind of looks good. It makes you seem like you're doing more. It makes you look like your channel is growing. But then if you're having an even slightly worse month, even slightly, it looks like hell. Like it, all the, there's red arrows everywhere. The gray arrows appear. Everything's got down signals next to where your channel's like, you suck. It's just, it's not great. It's all red signals. YouTube's telling you to pack your bags and leave the platform. It's... It's not great, and I think YouTube needs to do something differently in the way they kind of produce and showcase that information to you. Don't get me wrong, it's very helpful information, but it's just not presented in a very user-friendly way because I think it kind of creates... I just, I, it just creates so much anxiety amongst people. I've watched a lot of videos from other content creators that I really respect and admire who talk a lot about this. I think Kelly Stamps actually made a video about this a little while ago. I can't remember which one it is. Hunt it down if you really want to, or maybe I'll go into the comments and I'll tell you what it is. So the analytics is messy. She's messy, she's a messy lady. And you know what? I like messy people, but not when it comes to giving me feedback. I don't want messy feedback. I want constructive feedback. You know what I'm saying? With that in mind, YouTube analytics just have very constructive feedback. You can go in there you can go and see like where people are dropping off in your videos you can see which part of your videos is doing well what kind of topics are bringing people into your channel that sort of thing so as i said i wanted to set some actionable goals what are some things that i can do on youtube that are all within my power so my goal for the year is just publish 50 videos on youtube that means a video for a week it means i can skip two videos if i'm you know running behind or if i'm sick or whatever might happen but 50 videos means weekly videos on thursdays australian eastern standard time so 
you know, Thursday night, Friday morning, depending on where you live. And if I could just hit 50 videos, if I could even get close to 50, you know, videos that I'm proud of, by the way, I don't like to publish a lot of the stuff that I create because I just don't feel very proud of it or I don't feel like it's entertaining enough or I don't feel like it's, you know, imparting any knowledge on people, you know what I mean? I don't want to create videos for the sake of it, although this video has kind of been created for the sake of it, if I'm being completely honest, but Again, I'm very sick. But you know, as part of my creating videos, I always wanna make sure I support and engage the folk club within the comments. You have no idea how many screenshots I have of people's comments that I like will send to my friends. And I'm like, look what this person said to me. This is so nice. Oh my God, it's just made my day. So yeah, I love you guys, truly, I really do. I think you guys have been really great. You guys have made my 2021 an amazing year, despite all the kind of shit that was going on in our country and around the world and everywhere, you know, Unless you're an alien. I wonder if the people on the International Space Station had such a bad year. Maybe. And that's what I want. That's what I want to do. I just want to focus on making 50 videos. I reckon I can do it. And you know what? I've already got three videos already filmed and they'll come out pretty soon. If not, I'll film new stuff. I'm very excited about some of the stuff that I have planned. Uh, I was going to do a bit of a holiday recap in this video, talk about what I did for New Year's. But um, honestly, I am just so tired and I'm feeling really unwell and I really just want to rest and get this video edited. So I might have to wrap this one early. I'm sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because as you can see, the sun is now at this point of my body, which means once it gets to here, I'm gonna be completely washed out and you won't be able to tell that I'm ethnic. And if you can't tell that I'm ethnic, then what's the point of this channel? Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate it. You guys have been keeping me going through 2021 and I know you guys are gonna keep me going through 2022 because I'm gonna keep you going through 2022. Uh, if you haven't already, give the video a like. It really helps my channel out and leave me a comment about what you did for your new years. I'm really excited to know. I hope you guys had a great and safe New Year's. If you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. It's just at Forehead. And I think that's everything I wanted to say for this video today. So until next time, besties, bye.